Hey guys, Sinister here at On Point Tactical, and welcome to a live gameplay commentary playing Carrier Assault uh, in the Naval Strike DLC for Battlefield 4. Let me just make sure we're in a party. Yes, okay. Uh, I, I've only played one match of Carrier Assault one so far, and uh, it wasn't actually even a full game of Carrier Assault. It was more like I hopped in, and then like five seconds later, uh, we won the match. So... <laughs> It's going to be a good mix of every sort of distance, at least from what I'm expecting. So I'm going to come in, actually, with my trusty M4, I think. Eh. Mm, no, we'll do AK-5 for now, until we move into the close stuff, and then I might swap it up to uh, the MTAR or something like that. Or maybe I'll start playing Assault at that point. Just go ahead and get in the bird, jump out. Okay, we got the flag, and then I can get my own jet ski much closer to the action. I've, I have played every map up till this point in the rotation. I'm not sure which one. I've pl I played Lost Island, Nancy, Nancy Strike, Nancy Strike, or whatever. Uh, Operation Mortar. No, I haven't played Lost Islands. I've played everything but Lost Islands. That's the only one that I have not played. Crap. I, you know, the jet skis are so hard to drive, which is weird because they should be the easiest watercraft to control, seeing as to how they're so small and nimble, supposedly. Come on. Thank you. Okay. Alright, our dude's got that, so I guess we need to go work on Foxtrot, because that's a missile site. They're shooting at our carrier, it looks like, with it, so... And my jet ski is totally silent. It's a new model. What is it? Retard. I want, I want to drive this. no guns or anything, so I don't see the point, really. Is it just because it's all-terrain? Is that what it is? Wow. Oh, the air defense? Oh, you know what? That's true, since it's an LAV, it can float. Well, that's not quite fair to the uh, Chinese, then, is it? No, don't think so. Don't think so. Seriously? Like, die, you know? Alright, we're gonna go down to... Oh, no. Oh, no. Go down to Echo. <laughs> And uh, see how that goes. There's a missile site. I wonder if you can blow up the missile sites. That'd be cool. So that n no one gets to use them? Who knows? Oh, wait, you know what? My experience in domination tells me that this is the best place to. Ah! Uh. Well, that bites, and our freaking carrier is taking it, oh my gosh. I don't believe that for a second either, speed habit. I'm sorry, but that was bull. Unless you get like 10, 10 headshots in there, then uh, maybe, but... Oh gosh, alright, we gotta, gotta get something. I need to quit lagging also. See, all these large player count game modes, when they don't lag out, they can be fun, but it seems like you're constantly having to fight the rubber band no matter what you do. with anything over, like, 20 players in it. 
It's always lagging. Shoot, alright. So we need to get Charlie. It's got a boat on it. But it'll probably be gone by the time I parachute down there. This map feels very Assassin's Creed 4, and if you've ever played AC4, I'm sure that you know what I mean. Oh, dude, that'd be awesome if I hit that boat. Yes! Alright, I'm out. That felt sort of Assassin's Creed also. If you had a parachute. Oh crap, I hear another one. Ah! Oh. While I'm staring at him, well, not really staring at him, but I was looking at him. Battlefield says no. Lag. Oh, lag. Yeah, I think we've pretty much lost this one already. Team, my team can't get anything going. Not that I'm helping by lagging everywhere, but... Seems like the game always lags when you most need it to be responsive to. No, I want to put away my magnum. Thank you, Battlefield. Gosh, it's lagging. Seems like my bullets hit stuff on their on time though, so Wow, my reload did not even happen. Now I got shot through a rock too. Mostly because I was rubber banding. Looks like everybody's lagging in here though. I'll do a system performance test. <sighs> There's a lot of packet loss out, which means that the server isn't working uh, quite as well as it needs to be. Which is not surprising, considering that uh, EA and DICE isn't actually hosting all of the servers. They just have random server companies spread all across the globe taking care of it. So one server might run really, really well but then another server could have you rubber banding across the map. It's kind of pathetic the way that they did it, and they did it just to save a little bit of money. It's like, come on, guys. Well, okay. Speed is not your habit, sir. You are camping with your bolt action. And I don't normally have a problem with recons. It's the recons that camp like a bunch of morons that I can't stand. You know, they, they like go and sit up on some mountain or some hilltop somewhere and do absolutely nothing. Except sit there and see who can shoot somebody at the longest distance. So basically, the guys that have like 2300 meter headshots on their battle log, those are garbage players, as far as I'm concerned. Better move. Oh, bite it. Going to Foxtrot. I think that we have definitely lost this one. We can't hold on to the flags enough, and they're already on our carrier. And now they're on to the second objective already. So unless my team is going to, like, totally turn this thing around, we've lost.
And it takes too darn long to capture their flag whenever you're by yourself. Which I'm trying to figure out where my entire team is because I see like no icons. Or maybe that's just because of the new update or something. Okay, so we've now been standing here for like a day. Massive frame rate drop. What the heck, Battlefield? Battlefield. Battlefield, this isn't a PS3. My RPG didn't happen either. That one did. Bird. Oh! Like I told you, our team sucked, and we got owned. Although it looked like uh, we hit the time before we actually got our boat blown up, so there you go. But the uh, scoreboard is broken, it always says that your carrier health was at zero no matter what you do, so... Hmm... So anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed this sort of monotonous and lame live commentary. I didn't really didn't really want to flood the entire video with my voice. I thought I'd just leave it sort of up for the gameplay to speak for itself, but, uh, you know, who knows. So if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and click the like button down below. It would mean a lot to me, and I hope to see all of you on the battlefield.